Roseville Public Library. We're doing a take and make craft today. It's going to be a snowman and Santa ornament. Um, if you signed up with us to collect the supplies, you're going to get a few items such as two bulbs. One's going to have painter's tape around it and then you're going to get um, construction paper already in strips and you're going to get a paintbrush and we'll have little containers for you to get your own paint. Um, what you're going to want to grab is something to um, put on your table so you don't get paint on anything. Um, some paper towel and a cup to put water in. So let's get started. We're going to go with the Santa one first. And so what you're going to want to do is take the top off the ornament and there's several different ways you can make the little spirals that are going to be inside the ornament. One way to do it is you're going to start rolling it, the red construction paper, very tightly and just go down the center of the paper. So you're going to do that until you get to the very end. You want to do it tightly because once you, you need to get through the opening of the actual ornament. And if you make it too big, like I did when I first was practicing, it won't go through. <laughs> so once you do that, it should look like this and you're going to put it inside the ornament. And it will start to unravel a little bit so you can see that it's a spiral. Another way you can do it, you can consistently do it the same way, or um, if you'd like to have a different kind of spiral in there and do different, several different kinds like I did, you start rolling it, but rolling it off center so it's not going down the center, and it's starting to make, make a sideways spiral, if that makes sense. I'll show you one sec. So it's kind of going this way. You don't want to make it too long because otherwise, again, it's going to like take up the whole center of your ornament. But you're going to keep, you're going to put that in the ornament. And it's going to make it longer and spiralier, if that makes sense. Alright, so when you're done, the bulb should be filled up, but you don't need to pack it in. So if there's um, extra paper, that's okay. Um, what you're going to want to do is, um, if you want to move the spirals around, you can also use the paintbrush that we gave you and move it around a little bit if you're like, oh, I want to replace place these in different areas on my bulb. But once it's filled, you're going to put the lid to the ornament back on. If it will let me. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get into the paint. So I'm going to bring over the water, paper towel, and I'm going to need the black paint. So the painter's tape is going to help you to keep track of where the belt's supposed to go. Do not take the um, painter's tape off. If some of it starts to peel off, just like lightly press it down so that it's where it should be. Uh, anyway, so you're going to start painting in between the painter's tape and it should create a stripe around the bulb. Now, if it looks like it's really thin, you can do several layers of paint, but I would wait until the first layer dries before you start doing that. Again, don't take off the painter's tape at any point while you're painting. It's okay to get some of the paint on the actual tape too. So, I'm almost all the way around. Alright, so once you're all the way around and you're pretty sure you don't have any white spots or there's any gaps between the paint and the um, tape, you're going to put your paintbrush in the water and then you're gonna have it set up. So with mine, the painter's tape's keeping it up, but if you wanna prop it with something small, like 
say books or maybe some pencils to keep it upright. Um, let it dry. And then if you decide you want to do another coat of paint, that would be when you do it. Give it maybe 10, 15 minutes to dry. Then you can do another coat of paint. If you're okay with the color though, once we get it dry, we're gonna take the painter's tape off very slowly. Okay, so for the snowman ornament, um, we're gonna, we did the same thing that we did with the Santa one where we rolled up all the paper and made spirals and put them inside. So same exact technique. Um, once you have it filled and have the lid on, we're gonna start painting. So it's gonna look like this with the nose and the mouth. So my suggestion would be starting out with the nose just because it's in the center and then it, it will give you placement for the eyes and the mouth. So I've cleaned off my brush and now I'm going to start with the orange. So what you want to do is figure out where the center of the bulb is and I'm going to have it torn towards me. but. I'm going to put a little line here and make a triangle for sideways nose. Now I need to put more paint on because I can see through this. So for this one, the orange paint specifically is a little thinner so you might want to go over it again once it's dry. Just to make sure you can't see through it. So this is what it looks like, it's sideways triangle. And I'm gonna clean off my brush again. Make sure there's no orange on it. It's another reason why you don't wanna do black first because if there is any orange on your paintbrush, it will be covered up by black. But if you do it the other way around and there's still some black on your paintbrush when you try to do orange, it's going to mix and you're going to see it. Okay, we're going to start with the black paint now and I'm going to go and put the eyes on. So right over the nose. So try to do the very tip of your brush because it gives you more control over how big you want the eyes. It's okay if they're not like perfect like ovals. example already one's a little bit longer than the other I'm just gonna slowly add more paint to it okay so this is the eyes on my snowman um, I'm gonna take a little bit more black paint just a little bit and uh, to put the mouth on I make it on a, the side to make it like a little grin so just put, just slip, lightly press in there to get the dots. And then I'm giving it enough room so in case I want to make it bigger, I can. So I can barely see mine, so I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Alright, so this is my snowman. So I'm going to go over the eyes again when this dry with the black because you can see a little through it but essentially this is your snowman and you're going to want to let him dry 15 20 minutes if you decide you want to get more paint on there so just prop him up or lay him down so that he is face up and give it like i said 15 20 minutes all right so once you've painted your belt and it's all dry you're going to slowly peel off your painter's tape You might see some paint got under the painter's tape, hopefully not too bad. Alright, so I got the top one off. And do the bottom one. So roughly you should have a band around there and if you see any areas that you want to patch up with some black you can go over again with your paint and let it dry again but I'm good with what I have.
So I'm gonna make the um, belt part so it's gonna be a little square. So what I'm gonna do is get some white and what I'm gonna decide is how big I want it, the buckle to be. So I'm gonna go right above the black band and just paint a white stripe. Okay. I recommend going slow when you do that. Alright, so here's the white stripe. So then I'm gonna do the same thing under, in the same exact area under the black stripe so that they're matching. Don't put too much paint on there at one time because it will start dripping since this is a round surface. So once you have the two stripes at the same same dimensions you want, I'm gonna start going up to make it a square. Paint right over the black. So make sure that your paint is really dry before you do this because if not, you're going to see the black mixing with the white, and then you'll have to wait for it to dry so you can paint over again. Alright. So here's my belt buckle, and I'm going to let that dry, and then if it dries where I can see the black through it, then I'm going to go over it again. But, um, while you're waiting for it to dry, I strongly recommend, like, if you have, like, a cup that has, like, a small opening, that's a great way for it to not roll. Um, but I'm going to let that dry. And what it should look like when you're done with both Santa and your snowman is like this. 